Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 1. In this training module, we're going to be exploring how to download the software onto our laptops to begin the training course. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our Holly Sniper software onto our laptops, as well as doing a very brief overview of the software here in this tutorial. Now we're going to be exclusively covering working with the software in our training course here. We're not going to cover anything with the handheld device. The handheld is fine for basic monitoring or some basic setup, but we can accomplish everything that the handheld device offers in the software and a lot more programming functionality. So in order to unlock all of the potential with your sniper system, we really want to work with the laptop and the software, which is where it leads us into in this uh, tutorial, downloading the software onto our laptops. Now, if you've already downloaded the software, you can skip this tutorial and move on to the next one. But if you're completely new to using the sniper system or you've only ever worked with the handheld device and haven't worked with your laptop, Again, you will need to get the software. Let's take a look at where we can actually find the download spot on the Holly's website in order to get this software onto our laptops. So I'm on Holly's front page of the website, holly.com. We can see up here in my browser, it's what I've typed in. Now the look of the site might change over time as you're coming into the tutorial, but what we're looking for here in the upper right hand corner, we typically will find a support button. This allows us to go into the specific areas to download documentation, or software for the particular product we're working with from Holly. Let's go here into support and let's allow this to go open up our screen. And under our tech support, we're looking specifically for our fuel injection area right here. When we click on this link, it brings us into all the various Holly fuel injection systems that they sell. We're looking for our sniper EFI option right here. This allows us to get into the documentation and the software to download it onto our laptops. So let's go ahead and choose this first option, Sniper EFI. And now in our Sniper EFI specific area, we're gonna go down here under our technical resources and we're looking for the third option right here, Sniper EFI software. This is gonna be version 1.3 build 50. So over time, they may be updating the software. So what we're finding right here that's available in this specific tutorial may not be what you find as a software that's available in the future, but this is what we're looking for. The actual software, regardless of whatever the actual uh, version is going to be or the build version, we want to go ahead and grab that specific software onto our laptop. So let's go ahead and click this link right here, which is going to prompt up the download to start. We can see that's starting up at the top here. Now it's already downloaded immediately because I have incredibly fast internet speed here uh, at my office location. So we're going to go ahead and go move into our open file option. Now, if you're on an older Windows platform, so I'm on Windows 10, the look of where it's popping up on the screen might change here. Essentially what we're looking for is the downloads folder to access this file that we've just downloaded from our link right here. So you may need to jump in to your folder structure here. If you go into your downloads, we can find right here would be where we can actually access that same thing that we've downloaded right here. What I'm going to do is click into my window right here. Let's click off of this, let's actually minimize this real quick. And we're gonna jump into that. Now it just popped off my screen here. There was an open file allowed me a quick access rather than being into that downloads folder we're gonna have to jump back in there real quick to be able to download uh, the the software onto our laptop so let's go ahead and double click here and it's going to open up our folder we'll double click here which opens up then the executable file which we find right here if we double click on this it's going to allow the software process to do its auto installation we just need to follow along with some of the prompts as they're coming up to be able to install the software properly. Let's give this a second here. And now we're gonna find, it's gonna prompt me up in this window. Do you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device? We're gonna say yes right here. We can see it's the Holly Sniper EFI setup. Let's go ahead and click yes and give this a second. And now it's gonna prompt me with a few details here. Now this is gonna show me the folder location of where it's installing the Sniper folder. So C drive, program, files, x86, Holly, and then Sniper subfolder. This is the default location. We're not going to change this. We'll allow it to install there and click next. Now it's going to tell me this folder already exists. I had an older version of the sniper software on my laptops and I'm overwriting to a newer version right now. So this may or may not be what you find popping up on screen. You may not get this message at all. If you don't previously have a older version of the sniper software or a sniper installed onto your laptop. So I'm going to click yes, just tell it to install that location anyway. 
The next thing is gonna be for our startup menu where we can find a quick access. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.